Hi, I'm St. Damien Scout Zach from Cle in Clehe Union Church, and this is Dennis Arakaki. Hi, Dennis Arakaki. So, um, what do you think about Father Damien? Well, first of all, um, I'm the executive director for a Hawaii Catholic Conference. Uh, well, I represent both the Catholics and the Protestants here in Hawaii on policy issues. And uh, so I've been following, um, you know, what, what's happening with the canonization of uh, Father Damien. I'm also a former legislator and health chair. So um, part of my responsibility was to go and visit uh, Kalau Papa on an annual basis to make sure that the patients there are doing well and um, they're receiving the services that they uh, they're entitled to and so um, during my many visits you know I've, I've had the opportunity to visit um, Father Damien's gravesite and to learn from the residents themselves about Father Damien and um, I'm just, you know, so impressed with uh, what he did, especially you know, the sacrifices that he made, uh, actually giving his life uh, so that the patients there could be cared for. And, you know, back in those days, um, it was a real sacrifice because, uh, you know, they, there weren't many um, luxuries. Uh, and for him to give up that kind of life, he could have, I mean, he was supposed to be serving in a, in a church, but he gave all that up, you know, just to, um, you know, serve the, the patients who most of society had given up on, you know, I mean, people were just sent to Kalau Papa and left there to die, you know. And so um, I think, what he did, is, you know, not only deserves sainthood, I think uh, he serves as an example of what we as Christians should be like, you know. It, maybe not to that extent, but in terms of caring for the people, you know, especially those who are um, sick and disabled and those who can't really you know, fend for themselves or speak for themselves. So thank you. That was wonderful. Yes. So I'm St. Damien Scout Zach from Klee Union. Thank you, Mr. Arakaki. Okay.